What are your writing fears? So that's what I'm talking about today's video. I have my notes and everything. I was thinking about this last night. I know there's a lot of people over the years and I've, I've made other videos about how people have approached me about writing a book and it's like, write your own book. Not that I didn't want to help them, but I feel like they can, they can express it the way they want as opposed to me trying to express what they're trying to say I think they do a better job anyway that's another video I already did that one I don't want to get into that again but so what are some of the writing fears that keep people from writing their own book and I was kind of thinking about that you know I should do a video about that because I think that's probably something I would have wanted to watch at one time when I was thinking about writing a book I'm like oh I can't because this and that my number one thing and it's not so much of a problem now. And I did have a video previously called I Almost Quit Writing Because of Edits or something like that. Because that, that's how I felt. At one time, I almost did quit writing because of editing. Because I felt like I was terrible at it. I don't know if I can get taught properly in school how to do grammar. <laughs> but... I was really bad at it and people love pointing it out, loved pointing it out, loved pointing it out, especially other authors love pointing it out. It's like your book sucks, but your grammar is great. And mine was like, yeah, your book's good, but your grammar sucks. I was like, okay, fuck off. Anyways, sorry, sorry. Had to, I just had to do that. I just, it still pisses me off. Now I have a better system. I have someone who helps me. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm not even gonna get into that, but there are ways to get around it. If you are concerned, you can have someone help you who is better at grammar. You can get books on it. There's apps you can put on your computer. There's, if you try different ones, you can catch stuff. Grammar, Grammarly, I feel like I'm saying that wrong, is probably my favorite. It's very well worth it. It's very well worth it. It catches a lot. And what happens is if you feel like you're not good at that kind of thing, the more you catch these things when you go through an app like that, the more you automatically see them when you're writing it and, and, and without even going through the app. Now, you still use the app, but it, what I mean is you, you catch things and you, you mistakes that you commonly make because you have your own set of mistakes you're going to make and you're going to start catching them. It's really kind of neat. Anyways, um people ideas and plots so people worry about well, well I don't have enough ideas I don't know if it's a good idea I always say whatever inspires you what feels important to you so my ideas come from what I'm passionate about what pisses me off usually that's why I write about stuff like big pharma and politics a lot because that's where I get the most fire <laughs> from because I things that happen piss me off so it kind of comes in with my writing and um so the that I find like interesting I felt cartels are interesting in crime and sort of the criminal perspective the vigilante and so that's what my books are now maybe you're different maybe it's romance and you're like maybe back to I just recorded a video write the book you want well Maybe you're not finding the book you want. You think, well, law, okay, let's face it. Law romance novels are just sort of like, you know, I don't, we'll just not say. We'll just, the eye roll should say it all. Maybe you're like, I can think I can do better. Well, then please do it. Please do it. Um, But if you have an idea, like it just centers on what you like to read, what what you're passionate about, what interests you, what you'd like to see. That's what you write about. You don't write about what's popular, what's not popular. I wrote vampire books a few years ago. Everyone's like, ah, everybody else writes them. You shouldn't do them right now. I did them anyway because that's what I felt inspired to do at the time. Because that's what I, you know, I don't now. I don't want to do them now. Uh, I could do them now. Maybe this is what people want now. I don't know. But anyways follow your instincts and also um if fear okay this which runs into the next thing fear of running out uh, not being able to fill all those pages it's like oh my god how can i write that many pages and words okay, first of all don't check your word count per day everybody talks about all these authors are online oh, i had this many words today or I, this is my who cares i've never ever ever counted my words per day ever the only time I ever check my word count when I'm finished of a book just out of curiosity I wrote 17 books 
and I survived. And my books aren't like pamphlets and they're not this big either. So they're just normal books. So don't worry about that. Either write short chapters like me, if that's kind of what works for you, write long chapters, write in less of them, whatever works for you. So don't worry about that. If you want to fill the pages, I mean, if you already have insp inspirations, like I just mentioned, have a lot of different characters, have a lot of stuff going on. The more stuff you have going on, the easier it will be to fill the pages because all these characters are interacting. Look at your own life. If you had to sit down every day, write everything that's going on and happened to you and your, you know, what's going on with your family and this and that, you'd have a long frigging chapter, right? Same thing. You have a lot of characters. They have a lot of stuff going on. I talk with my hands a lot. Sorry. Um, and if you just write instinctually, I find a lot of people think, think they have to overplot things and write all the notes. No, you don't. You just have some general notes, jump in with both feet. This sounds like a great way to start and just follow along for the ride because that's really what writing it's about. It's, it's not about, oh, what's a different idea no one's thought of? Nothing you could think of. It's, it's all been thought of before. Don't even, don't even go there. Don't even, just write what you want. You start worrying about, oh, was this done before? Unless you're exactly caught. Like if you write The Wizard of Oz over it. No, don't do stuff like that. <laughs> like, I mean, no matter what idea you have, it's in some way been done before. Don't worry about that. Your way will be unique because it's you. Uh, if you're, you're not good enough, that might be a deeper issue <laughs> I can't help you with. Not that I can really help you with any of this. Yeah, sure, you, why not? Why not? Why are you not good enough? You know what I mean? Anybody can write. Anybody. Anybody. Look at some of the books out there. They're absolute crap. There's books out there that have won awards. And I know people, including myself, including other authors that roll their eyes at them like that is absolute crap. It won awards. It's not because I'm jealous. A little bit maybe. But not. it's not because if I like that book, I will admit it. But there's a lot of books that won awards and I start reading. It's just like movies. Think of some of the movies you want to, that you know won awards and you watch them like this won an award. Ugh. Same idea. It doesn't mean a thing. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. There's probably other stuff I just didn't think of. If you want to write, write. You don't have to tell the world. You don't have to announce it. I'm going to write a book. Don't tell anyone. Just go try it. If you don't like it, you're not happy with it. Maybe it's just not the time maybe it's not that you shouldn't write a book it's that it's not the time and maybe you just want to write a blog maybe you don't want to write anything <laughs> you can, maybe you just want to write a journal and maybe that journal will someday come into turn into not come into turn into a book see I told you I'm bad at grammar <laughs> anyways but the, the point is do what you want and you don't have to answer anyone or tell anyone and because if you start telling people oh well you shouldn't do this and you should do that and oh I, let me oh I, i'm gonna read it and i'm gonna criticize or they're or the worst they'll read it and be like oh this is perfect perfect it's like you know you want some honest sort of ideas and it's for you it's just for you. The first draft of whatever you do is just for you. It can be changed, right? Or it can be trashed and started again. But I recommend that you try, just try even just a chapter. Anyways, if that's something you wanna do. Not if you want, if you're like, I don't wanna write a book, then I don't know why you're watching this video. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you. Have a great day.